There are three major paradigm shifts in moving to MPLAB X from MPLAB 8. The project centric development as opposed to workspaces, embedded memory views, and hardware tool connectivity. Let's start with project centric development. In MPLAB 8, you would select the device and the tool within your workspace. This was consistent for all the projects that were being developed under the IDE. Under MPLAB X, all content for development is contained within a project. The hardware or platform tool, the device, and the compiler, and all the property settings for these selections are contained within this project. This allows for multiple projects to be under development within the IDE that contain different devices, hardware tools, and compiler selections. The main root of the project is its source code. You can create a different configuration on the same project to use different tools or devices, so it is not always necessary to have multiple projects for the same source code. By containing all the development environment content within the project, it also allows for simultaneous debugging of multiple projects. Next is the embedded memory views. Under MPLAB 8, there was the ability to view different windows of memory type. Under MPLAB X, there are four windows that are identical. Access through the window menu embedded memory. These windows can be configured to view the different memory types and the format you want to display the data in. All memory views are accessed through these four views. Hardware tool connectivity. In MPLAB 8, from within the workspace, you would select the hardware or platform tool of your choice even before you had a project. The tool connection was immediate. This had some advantages because the tool could identify if the correct device was selected and provide other feedback for the user. Under MPLAB X, the tool connection is only made when you start debugging the project or need a connection to program the device. There are many reasons for this when you can use multiple projects for debugging within the same IDE. This does mean, however, that the tool can only provide feedback once you start your debug session. We have a project environment display which will show much of the content and the tool's feedback. Let us explain it using a diagram. Under the MPLAB IDE 8, you select a debugger and which time it will connect to the tool. This in turn connects to the realize and the hardware. When the tool is selected, a connection is maintained between the IDE and the physical tool. This can be used at any time to update, query or write to memory on the device. Under the MPLAB X IDE, we select a debugger in the project. No connection to the tool is made at this selection time. When we start a debug session, we then connect to the tool. The hardware tool selected within a project is only connected when a debug session has been started. This means you can only update, query or write to memory during a debug session. I hope you enjoy using the new improved functionality within the MPLAB-X IDE.